Nintendo Switch, it is out. They just released the reveal trailer, and we're going to give you our initial opinions on what we think. You know what I really like about this reveal trailer is that instead of having a talking head come up on stage and tell us a whole bunch of crap, they gave us this fun little like scavenger hunt. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Like, and, and that music too, yeah. but it, it was cool because so much was said, even though they didn't say anything yeah. at all. You were saying it's kind of like an Apple iPhone commercial. They're trying, yeah. to, they're trying to make it so like hip, you know. Yeah, it's like an LG phone or like Samsung or whatever. Because when you think of N Nintendo gamers, you know, you think of like just a dude sitting there play, playing Nintendo. You yeah. don't think of like people like on the go playing basketball at the airport and whatever. They went for that aspect of like, hey, this is the cool thing. But what they were really trying to put over was that you can play the you can play it at home as a console and you can play it on the go. You can play it on a train. You can play it on a rooftop. You can play it anywhere. And that's the main point they're trying to drive home. Now I'm making fun of the commercial a little bit because it, right. it is a little corny, but I think it does look cool. What I liked about it, just flat out, is this is the first Nintendo gimmick in a decade that actually has something to do with freaking video games. And that's that the controllers detach from what looks like a tablet and they're available for both single player and for multiplayer. Well, one of my first thoughts with the console is, you know, how the controllers detach yeah. and everything. I don't know how those controllers are actually going to be if you, if you actually play them. I'm a little worried that they're going to be not the best. What are the big games that are going to be? Obviously, Zelda is the big one they highlight. And there's going to be, you know, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers. It's always, you know, right. they, they got their big couple games and, and the Mario game. What happens when Smash Brothers comes out and all the hardcore Smash Brothers players are going to want the GameCube controller. Right. But the system has USB ports on the back. So if they, they can still do the GameCube controller attachment if they want to do that. I, I think that the, the cool things they showed is they showed that the first party support is definitely there. Oh, absolutely. You see, you know, Zelda Breath of the Wild. We see a unknown Mario title. We see Splatoon in some form. We see the, the type of stuff you want from Nintendo for a, a solid launch. But in addition to that, and, and the craziest thing, is we see Bethesda Skyrim. I didn't see a Metroid in there. Yeah, well, you, you didn't. You didn't see an F-Zero either <laughs> yeah. in Nintendo. What's really cool about that is by unifying, and it appears that they're unifying the uh, 3DS and the Wii U ecosystem under this like combined console, because it is a console and it's a handheld, they're bringing all the third-party support. And I actually saw an article that showed that the third party support, everything from big developers to tools like Unity are on board for NX. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that brings me to is, man, this, this, the Nintendo Switch NX, I guess we're calling it Switch now, because that's what it is. It was like the biggest cover up in game history. D did you hear anything they, about they it? They always have the, um, the alternate name, you know, it was yeah. like the dolphin for the GameCube. And it was, you know, they always have the different name and then they then they reveal the real name. So they've been doing that since forever. Um, the thing that people are saying about the, this console and what, what people have been saying is that, okay, it's just the Wii U that's portable. And that's, that's what people are saying. But this console is much more powerful than a Wii U. Yeah, I mean, the, the other thing I saw is when that Nintendo video went live, NVIDIA also released a press release. Now, the Xbox One and the PS4 both use AMD graphics cards and x86 processor from AMD, that kind of thing. But they, NVIDIA announced that it's going to use a Tegra-based custom chip. So what does that mean? Custom the, for the Switch? Custom for the Switch. So what does that mean? There's, there's really two, there were really two candidate chips that the uh, Switch could have had. And that was the Tegra X1, which is about a quarter of the power of a PS4 or Xbox One. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Tegra X2, which is much newer, which but is But it's like, neither one of these, it's a custom Which one. is like 80%. So the question is, is what does custom mean? Mm. Are we gonna get something in between the X1 and X2? Are we gonna get something better? Is it gonna be an X2 that has the, you know, the automotive things removed from it? What, what are we gonna what are we gonna get and I think that really defines what the system's gonna be capable of because if we're getting something better than the X2 even marginally better we're getting something that's within 10 or 20 percent of the power of the big consoles that we have now 
Combine that with the 3DS's third-party support and Nintendo's, you know, focus on quality controllers and things. I, I mean, listen, it'll be the, good. The thing is, d does it matter? We kn we know that this system is going to be able to play a Mario game, a Smash Brothers game, a Zelda game. It's like that's what people go to play Nintendo for. It's going to be able to play other games too. But like, as long as it can play their big, heavy-hitting games, which it'll be obviously be able to do. Yeah. What does it matter? The thing they're trying to tell people is like, listen, now you can play the console Mario on a plane, in the car, on a train. And that's all that really matters here. Yeah, and remember, Nintendo handhelds always sell great. So, And I think that that's what they're going for. Is yeah. like, they're like, hmm, 3DS sells really well. All our handhelds sell, sell really well, but our console, the Wii U, was like pretty much a flop. The, you know, the consoles don't do as well, mm -hmm. but now this is a combination of both, which is a great idea. Um, the Satisfies both sides. Th there were more cool things, though, than just the handheld console combination. There was the fact that we're returning to cartridges. I'm sick and tired of optical media in games. I stick a disc in my PlayStation, and I have to wait for the Blu-ray to install. Flash media is so cheap, there's SD cards with many times the capacity of a Blu-ray. And now I could get that on my handheld, that, that was a really good choice. Yeah, I mean, I, I like um, the physical media, but I like with an, you know, an NES game. You take the game, you put it in, you press start, you're playing it. What is the point of going out to GameStop and buying like a PS4 game, then you bring it home, you put the disc in, and then you have to wait for it to install? Mm -hmm. At that point, why not just download the game? What, the right. only advantage you're getting there is to have the actual box but even the boxes these days, they don't come with an instruction manual, and it's like, what the fuck is the how, point? How many times do we whip out the manual from like Zelda, and there's like illustrations in it and stuff? Yeah. That doesn't really happen it's anymore. It's like buying a CD or something. Half the reason you buy it is for the artwork and, yeah, yeah. and all that. Um, but but yeah, the, the, the basic thing that they're going back to cartridges, they're combining their handheld pieces, there's there's many different control schemes. It's, it's really cool, and it would be great for that to be a successful console that plays all the games. Because right now, if you had a Nintendo console and you have, you know, a console that could play the new third-party stuff, why would you ever need another console, right? Yeah, yeah. and I guess if we're gonna be talking about the Nintendo Switch here, um, I, I, we should mention Zelda. Zelda's the big game that they're, they're highlighting. I, I've said over the years, before the NX, I've been saying this since Nintendo 64, I wanted to see an open world Zelda. I thought that with um, Twilight Princess, when that came out, I was like, okay, finally, we're gonna get the open world Zelda. And it wasn't, which that at that point, that was insane to me because we had already had Grand Theft Auto, which was open world. And then I was like, wow, I can't believe they didn't do that. So whatever, the next one, they'll definitely do it. Then Skyward Sword comes out and it's, it's still not open world. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy how long this is taking. We're finally getting it extremely late. So Nintendo is extremely, extremely late to the game on bringing Zelda mm -hmm. to an open world environment. I'm glad it's happening, but it's so unbelievably late. Um, but it is cool. The game does look good. I really want to play it. I am excited for it. Um, it. You know, people are saying that it's a game where apparently, uh, I mean, this is probably a rumor, but that you could actually walk right to the end dungeon immediately. Like you can play the game in any right. order. That's kind of interesting um, they, that they're they, giving they you that choice. They kind of did that a little bit with uh, Link Between Worlds with you could rent the item for yeah. the dungeon and then go out, yeah. which was pretty cool. But you know, th that's Zelda and they show a lot of Zelda in there. there. There is a little short clip of Mario. Obviously the system's gonna have a Mario game, but I don't want Nintendo to leave out some of the big franchises. Where is the Metroid game? F-Zero. Like, where are those big titles? Like. Yeah. That you can't just ignore that. There, there was something... I, I have two predictions based on the trailer that weren't necessarily said, but they were not said. And the first thing is, we're going to have a console Pokemon game, which has never happened oh, before. I'm, I'm so glad you brought up Pokemon. So, Pokemon Go, one of the biggest things that, yeah. that's happened. You, This is a console now that you can bring with you. I'm so curious what they're going to do with Pokemon Go. Are they, is there going to be Pokemon Go for Nintendo Switch where you can play a console version of Pokemon right. Go with better a better gameplay, yeah. but on the go? That would be really cool. Yeah, that would, that would definitely be amazing. Uh, but I definitely think we're going to have a traditional Pokemon game that now on a console because yeah. Nintendo is not going to have a, a console. They're just going to have the Switch, you know, which is a console and a handheld. But the other thing that... Nintendo kind of slipped in this this trailer, this announcement video, was uh, eSports. They showed Splatoon yes. 
in an esports arena. And I hope that that wasn't just, you know, something that the production company decided on. Right. I hope that really shows that, that Nintendo they're serious about is it. serious about it. So I can't wait to hear about the user interface. I can't wait to hear about the online features. And I really hope that we get built-in streaming, especially built-in streaming on the go. I also hope that there is a focus on esports because Splatoon and Smash Brothers really deserve publisher support. Sure. But... Listen, the games that people are yeah. really big on with esports. What are, what are some of the games that you say that what are the big esport games? Oh, like like League of Legends right. or but you know Smash Brothers is up there. Okay. Smash Brothers, Street Fighter, League of Legends. They uh, should at least be in the Hearthstone. Right. They should at least be in the game. You know, yeah. maybe it's not. Some of those aren't going to. Splatoon's not going to be the most popular esport thing. Probably never will be. I would imagine. But it, they should. They should be doing it. And the features should exist to facilitate it. So if the new Call of Duty game comes out, it should be on the Nintendo system as well as the other two. They just need to do that. Why not just have it? And you should have the friends lists, and you should have all that cool stuff. Having my Call of Duty, having my AAA titles on the go. That's a competitive advantage over everyone else. So, just to be clear, so far, like, Call of Duty games haven't been on Nintendo consoles, correct? I mean, there's been, like, fits and starts, but not... The, the online features haven't really facilitated... Mm -hmm. it, there are no Dark Souls 3 on... Right. Where, are you, where yeah, is Yeah, there, there's no Battlefield. There's no... I mean, there may have been like one Call of Duty, this but is, not. This is now an old discussion. Yeah. Why aren't the those type of games on Nintendo? That's something that still needs to happen, and that's something that seems like it's still not going to be corrected with this. Well, I I think it might be, but only because this console will probably, I'm estimating, have the largest install base of all of the consoles. Really? Because like, look at the 3DS. The 3DS sales are tremendous, I believe, and. You know, you could look this up, but I believe that there's more 3DSs in the wild than Xbox Ones or PS4s. I have to say, Nintendo is getting smarter. They're, they're finally, I said years ago, it's like, why don't they have some Nintendo games on it, on on your iPhone? Yeah. And now they're finally doing that. Like, there's that Mario running yeah, game yeah. coming out. Why wouldn't they do that? I don't really want to see Nintendo games on a cell phone, because when I think yeah. of Nintendo, I think of it like on, on a console. But what I'm trying to say is, if there if there's a Zelda game or a Mario game like on your phone, you know how much money that's gonna make them. Yeah. Like yeah. why why would you if you love Nintendo why would you not want Nintendo to make a shit ton of money off those type of games so that their company can make a lot of money and then they have money to right. make the g games you want to see. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, another thing that we we don't know is we don't know the MSRP. You know, I talked about the online fe features. We don't know that. We don't know. There's a lot of batteries in this equation. There's batteries oh in the God. left controller. That, that's, yeah, that's the thing I'm so curious about. <laughs> right. Is is it just like stick a million batteries into the fucking well, thing? No, no, no. It, 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 they're going to be, you know, high-end batteries because, it, 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 you know, it has boom, to be. Boom, boom, but boom. They, but they, showed, they showed controller one, controller two, both wireless. Yeah. The tablet is wireless. Yeah. There's the thing that the two controllers hook into. Is there a battery in that thing? It's got LEDs on it. Battery companies love Nintendo. Yeah, oh my God. We're... <laughs> This is like the the age of the battery. Everything has a battery. I bet you like the case that goes over it has a battery in it. Some it's just yeah. They need cases too because the thing looks flimsy as hell. It's the coolest looking handheld that Nintendo's ever made, but you know kids are gonna break these things in oh half. Oh my god! You know so I mean better get a warranty when you buy yeah, this fucking yeah, thing. Yeah, when you when you buy this thing at Toys R Us for your seven year old, get like the. The you premium. Know, bumper to bumper <laughs> premium warranty. Yeah. Um, you know, although, you know, I, n none of my kids have ever broken a tablet, but I have, so. What so, I so um, like I said, you know, Zelda is one of the big games that they showcase for this thing. When I play a Zelda game, um, especially if I'm playing like a handheld Zelda, like, like L Link's Awakening or whatever, when I played Link's Awakening, I gotta tell you, I played it at, like at home on a Super Game Boy. Really? Because you know, it's because it's a well, it's a long yeah. game, and a lot of like the long Game Boy games, I will just I'll just pop it into the Super Game Boy. Uh, I just end up playing the handhelds at home. I've never been huge on oh, I'm gonna go to the train station or I'm gonna right. go to, on a plane and play it. I just I'm, I've never really done that. I've been more of a console gamer than a handheld gamer. Not that I dislike the handheld games. Yeah. I think they're amazing. Like I love Link's Awakening and I love uh, you know a lot of games for 3 too. Shinobi 2, all, all that stuff. But I end up playing them on the console is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But 
you have to recognize that the 3DS and the DS and the Game Boy Advance and all these systems have been the their bread and butter. Nintendo, you absolutely. Know, that's what yeah. makes them their money. And I think that this console is combining, uh, you know, the the love for the console. The love for the handhelds, the money that they yeah. that the handhelds can make—it's bringing every all, all the best things that Nintendo can offer together. I think it's a great idea. I, I just hope that we get some good games for it. Give us a Metroid game. Absolutely, give us a Metroid game. Normally, we normally these Nintendo things come out, and it's like, oh, it's called the Wii. This is awful. This is the first time in ten years or fifteen years that Nintendo has done one of these things, and, and I the name's good. Wanted to learn more. The name's good. The concept's good. It's a yeah. video game console. Yeah. Um, it's got pretty yeah. much everything you want. The the thing I want to see, now they need to release a trailer of what games they're going to have coming out. Or at least, if you're not going to, if they haven't made the games yet, if they're not far enough into it, at least tell us, hey, on the Nintendo Switch, we're going to do a Metroid game. We're going to do this game. We're going to do a, a Kid Icarus game. We're, I like. I just want a list of like. Tell us what's coming down the pipeline. Don't leave it in, you know. Yeah, in, absolutely. In they, they need to be plugged in. You know, I was at a developer event last week in Seattle, and there were many of the developers that were on that list, mm -hmm. and no one said a word about this thing. Oh, it's like the secret fucking isn't project. That, isn't that unbelievable? Yeah, right. Like I was in a room with like five hundred people who were related to this. Thing. Like, like you're you're saying like what did that NDA look like? Oh my god, it's like we get to kill you. <laughs> yeah, we get We're... to kill you and everyone you ever met if you say <laughs> anything yeah. about. <laughs> because yeah. the only thing that anybody knew about this thing before today was that the, it was the, called the Nintendo. That, that was called that, and they had the patent yeah. photo, which the patent yeah. illustrations look ridiculous. And I guess now that we know it's the Nintendo Switch and not the NX, I guess the last thing I have to say about the NX isn't it funny that people thought that that meant November tenth. Yeah, so, you know it's coming out. It's coming out in March. Yeah, crap. March. I'm excited for it. It looks cool. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna play the Zelda. Yeah. Um, give us some more games, Nintendo. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Let us know what you think, guys.